This morning, Israel launching its offensive front against the Palestinian militant group Hamas after an unprecedented, deadly and widespread attack on Israeli soil. Here, Israeli armed forces target Palestinians at the Israel-Gaza border fence. President Netanyahu saying the first stage is ending by the destruction of the vast majority of the enemy forces that infiltrated our territory. Saturday morning, thousands waking up to sirens and explosions. At least 300 Israelis are dead, at least 1,800 injured in the complex Hamas military operation that took the nation by surprise by air, land and sea. Israeli officials reporting that at least 30 policemen were killed in the fighting with Hamas-affiliated gunmen. Overnight, Israel's answer to Hamas terror illuminates the night sky. Airstrikes rain down on the Gaza Strip. Another airstrike flattening this Gaza high-rise. Israel says it's targeting Hamas command locations. The Palestinian Health Ministry says more than 300 Palestinians have been killed, nearly 2,000 others injured. But these scenes are only a glimpse of what may come as Israel prepares its fuller response. Hamas video shows armed Palestinian militants crossing into Israel on foot and by motorbike. Near the border, militants running on foot with hostages. Armed fighters firing shots into Israeli camps bodies lining the streets, some shot in their cars. Above, a barrage of rockets from Gaza, the sky streaked with smoke. The IDF says more than 2,000 Hamas rockets were fired towards Israel. Plumes of black smoke coming from Israeli neighborhoods, cars on fire after a rocket struck this parking lot. A hospital suffering a direct hit, emergency exits crushed, water spraying from pipes. The scale of the war uh, that's already taken place is something that uh we haven't seen before. Volunteer EMS workers saying they treated a thousand people yesterday alone. One of the things that we're facing now, even after just one day, uh, due to the, the sheer scale of, of uh, the operation, is a shortage of medical supplies already. We, we've already emptied out our entire logistics headquarters. At least 50 Israeli hostages have been freed by security forces overnight, but officials believe dozens of Israelis, soldiers and civilians are being held hostage in Gaza. Yoni Asher, a husband and father of two, says his wife and children, who he says are seen here in this video, were kidnapped. It was a nightmare came true. Um, um, we didn't we didn't expect that it will be in such power. You know, we, we, we never thought that so many terrorists can past the border, so many terrorists can, can do such damage. The destruction devastating, unlike anything Israel has seen in more than 50 years. Questions now mounting about how this massive attack was not detected by Israeli intelligence. An attack of this complexity would have required massive amounts of logistical movement, would have required operational planning. All of these things should have been picked up by some form of intelligence. When Hamas took control of Gaza in 2007, Israel enforced a permanent blockade. Tensions have escalated ever since, including a bloody 11-day war in 2021 over competing claims to the holy sites of Temple Mount.